Hey YouTube, it's Pipe Miner here again. Chris is my name for those that care. <laughs> uh, smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Washington, I believe it is. And I'll tell you what I'm smoking in it in a minute. Oh crap. Anyway, wanted to go over a little bit of a A fun experience I had this weekend in my local B&M and uh, get into some of the stuff that I found in there and why part of why I enjoyed it but what I found as far as stuff to buy wasn't the main reason what I ran into is I went in while I was there looking at different blends and checking things out there was a couple of younger guys that came in I'd say early 20s and both of them were in and you know I expected them to walk in head for the cigar humidifier and uh, they walked in and walked right over to the pipe tobacco shelf and started looking at that and I thought well what the heck you know so I watched and they were looking at tobaccos over there and uh, come to find out they had started both of them were trying to get off of cigarettes so they had both picked up a pipe, I think two or three weeks ago, and we're in there looking for different blends, you know, and I thought, okay, they're going to, like most of us, they're going to go in and look at aromatics, and that's going to be what's interesting to them at first, no big deal. But I told them, asked them if they had any questions, because I've, I've been in there, I've only been doing this seven months. but. I, I go in there quite frequently and I, I've checked their blends, you know, and I, I, I'm new, they're newer, so I thought maybe I could help <laughs> So I asked them, do they, do they need any recommendations or anything? And they were all excited about that. They said, oh, yeah, if you've got something, let us, you know, what do you recommend? So I told them, just first off, let your nose guide you, you know. Open some stuff up. See how it smells. If you like the way it smells, give it a try. It's, you know, three or four bucks. So, they opened, opened up quite a few of them. And I was pulling some stuff off, you know, that, that I had liked and showing them. They kind of... The one surprised me because the one... The, the One of the kids gravitated towards the aromatics. I figured that. The other one, we got to talking about Latakia blends. The other one, I pulled the canister that they have of Balkan Supreme off the shelf and handed that to him. And man, he lit up. He was, oh, I like that, you know. So he smelled a few other things. He ended up buying that Balkan Supreme to try it. And the other kid bought some, which is one of my favorite or aromatics that they have there. It's called Creme Brulee. But, which knowing what I have learned in the last seven months that one you have to be really careful with because I mean it is cased so heavily that it feels sticky when you in your fingers I mean it is really sticky but it's a really good flavor so but while I was there while I was looking around I got into looking at some stuff and I knew I had seen this before but they had some, the guy that owns the shop had bought from a friend of his, customer or something, that no longer wanted it or had passed away, something to that effect. I, I, I'm not sure of the full details. But he'd bought this guy's, a big portion of this guy's cellar. Well, what they have, and he's got three boxes full of quart jars of three different blends. One of them is... McClellan's 2030 and I don't know if you can see it but that says 6 of 99 so that stuff was jarred in June of 99 bought two ounces of that this is McClellan's 2020 jarred in February of 99 I really like this so that, that's 18 year old tobaccos times two that I got just from going into my local shop. Now that's the kind of stuff that, if they had that online, well, 
I'm not sure what they'd charge for that. But while I was in there, I found some more blends. And these blends we need, we need to talk about because some of y'all are hoarders. But anyway, this is what I'm smoking right now. Esoterica Peace Haven. About an ounce, sitting on my local shelf. Esoterica Pembroke. And Esoterica Blackpool. And I'll be honest, when I bought those, I wasn't sure which one I was more excited about trying. The 18-year-old stuff or the Esoterica stuff. Tried, well now I've tried all five. And... I can tell you the 2020 for the old, the aged stuff, the 2020 is really good and smooth. The 2030, I'm not sure. There's, I'm picking up a, uh, a Perique note in it, and I don't know if that's just from the age or if the guy actually put Perique in it because that's the third blend is one that was just a straight Virginia that the guy had mixed himself with Perique, and I didn't buy any of that, so we'll see. I may get some later, but the other thing, this they call Red Virginia. This is McClellan's 5100 Red Cake, and they do that a lot in there. And I know of other people. I've seen other videos where people were kind of griping about uh, B and M's buying bulk tobaccos, you know, from manufacturers and renaming them. Now that's not really renamed. It's just not labeled as 5100 Red Cake. But here's another case. They call this Pure Comfort. That's Lane 1Q. I've smoked several ounces of that already. And this, I can't remember if it's McBaron or, or McClellan, but it's a Scottish mixture. It's just their bulk. And it's, I really like that. That's pretty good tobacco. So, you know, got the Peace Haven finally. I, I did black, I can't do that and talk at the same time. I did sample the black pool the first night and then tried the Pembroke yesterday and yeah. the hype is real and I haven't even gotten to you know Margate or Penzance yet yikes but still some of y'all are hoarders you know who you are but anyway while I'm doing blends I'll just go through the rest of my stuff this one because I, I wanted to try the o, the OTC blends, you know. The, the, I mean, that's just Prince Albert. It's just Burley. But they aren't so much OTC anymore. I had to go to four different places before I found this sitting on a shelf. And of all places, it was at Walmart. Um, I also have, as you can tell from a previous video, Frog Morton Cellar. Oh, good stuff. I have to hold myself back from that one or I'd have that whole tin gone already. I also finally got a tin of this. And I believe it's as good as some of the hype suggests. I was I have been really impressed with that for an aromatic. I've got a tin of McClellan's 40th anniversary. I haven't opened it yet. I'll get to that at some point or I'll let it sit in age, whichever. Aaron Moore Flake. That's really good takes a little drying time but it's good and now these tins are empty because I've put them in my jars and stuff but Dunhill three-year mature Virginia also really good I, it's well Elizabethan mixture and the Royal Yacht now those Virginias are different than what I was expecting I guess I really like the cut. That ribbon cut from Dunhill is really nice. But it's just a different flavor than what I was, I guess my preconceptions were. I don't know why, it just is. But they're really good. They smoke really well. I, I enjoy them. I'm just not sure that they're going to be real high on my list, but I'm not that experienced, so I don't know. Maybe they will be. Uh, Peterson Deluxe Mixture, another really good aromatic. Peterson Founders Choice, if that's coming through, there we go. That's really good. And then probably my favorite, Peterson's Connoisseur's Choice. I'm out of this at this point, but I like the Founders Choice and the Connoisseur's Choice. They, they're similar flavor profiles, 
But the Founder's Choice is a cube cut, and the Connoisseur's Choice is a ribbon cut. I have better luck with ribbons. I struggle with the mechanics on the cube cut a little bit, just because it's, I don't know, it, it's just not as easy to smoke. You know, you, you throw the ribbon cut in there, and do your normal pack, because that's what I'm used to dealing with, and it goes fine. But, since we're on the subject, and we'll, uh, I'll try to run you through, you know, my whole herd of pipes here. This is pipe number one. That's the first one I bought. It's just a unbranded wall pipe from my local shop. It smokes fine. It's take, it, you know, I'm not worried. I would take this one fishing, whatever. It's, if something happens, it wasn't an expensive pipe but it's a good one that was pipe one this is pipe number two bought a corn cob and I, I I've got a yeah I could probably do just about a whole video on why why I waited on the corn cob this next one though is kind of the reason I went got to buy in a pipe this time this is one of the 2017 Peterson St. Patrick's Day pipes. It's their 69 shape. It's a bent billiard. I walked in there with a friend into Ted's with a friend wants to buy some cigars. And I, just out of habit, I always walk by the pipe case it, just because I've been interested in it since I was in my 20s. I walked in and there's about a dozen of those St. Patrick's Day pipes sitting in that rack. And holy cow. I had never seen anything that looked like that. Uh, they had a, a 999, which is their bent Rhodesian. That's the one that I wanted. But by the time I could afford to go back and get it, it that one was sold, so I bought this 69. Well, later on, I went back in a while later, and here sits this straight apple. It's a carry Magic Inch. I never heard of carry or anything else, you know, so I got to, I just like the shape. I like the green. So I bought that one. It was an estate pipe. wasn't even very expensive. But then I started taking one to work with me, and I wanted something lighter to clench while I'm at work because I have to run. I run heavy equipment, so I use both hands. I'm sure you may have Mozark. And then I found one because I was just out perusing pipes. You know, PAD. Uh, I went on SmokingPipes.com and found this. It is a near up red poker. And I, I just, I really like that. So that's pipe number six. Now I'm afraid PAD is going to kick in a little more this weekend because I'm going to the Kansas City Pipe Show. I'm kind of scared. I don't know. I can't afford a whole lot, but I know from watching some other stuff what's going to be there. Yikes. But anyway. Uh, so that gets you through my current blends and my current pipes and a little bit of, you know, if you get to traveling around, I love watching guys, you guys' video tours of tobacco shops when you go in. I watched them from Old R and I've watched them from Button Chop. He goes into Strauss and uh, uh, what's the one in Nashville? I can't think of the name. Oh, Uptowns. Uptowns and Yulees, and I, I really enjoy looking at those because, you know, that to me, if I ever get in that area, I'm going to make a point to get in those shops and just look around and see what, you know, because I've seen them on videos now, but that way I can go in and keep supporting the local shops because the FDA, as far as they're concerned, would like to shut them all down. But anyway, I'm about out of time, so as always, stop and smell the smoke.